All right, hey guys, and welcome back to another video here on the channel, and this is going to be a Star Wars Squadrons video because the reveal trailer for Star Wars Squadrons has been released finally, and we know a few more details as well. So in this video, I'm going to be breaking down the trailer a little bit, as well as telling you guys all the new details that we know about Star Wars Squadrons, including what, what day it's going to be released, as well as the price point, and a few other little details about the campaign and the multiplayer modes as well so let's get straight into the video so make sure if you guys enjoy these videos make sure to leave a like share and subscribe for more star wars content in the future but now let's get straight into the video so let's first of all start off with the details that we now know guys and we now know that star wars squadrons is coming out this year it's coming out on october 2nd 2020 so that means two new star wars games this year star wars squadrons and lego star wars the skywalker cycle which is awesome news considering that we've only had three other star wars games in the last five years we're getting two in one year that's just awesome to hear it looks like EA is starting to ramp up on their star wars games even though they may not be as massive like squadrons um but you know the more Star Wars content, I think, is the better. So, yes, coming out on 2nd of October is Star Wars Quadrants. It is going to be a first-person and a VR experience as well, if you guys have VR. But it's going to be a first-person experience on PC, Xbox One, PS4, and Origin, and Steam as well. Uh, experience for all players it is going to be $40 US or $60 if you're in Australia I'm not sure the other price points so just uh, you know convert it to your own currency but as I said this is just a cinematic trailer guys so it's got all the in-game footage the gameplay reveal will be on this week June 18th at 4 p.m. Pacific time or 9 a.m. on Friday not 19th if you're in Australia like we are unfortunately I'll be at work at that time guys so I won't be able to stream it but as soon as I get home I will make a video detailing all the de new details that we know uploading some of the gameplay as well so look out for that so let's go into some story details guys so as I said before there will be a single player and multiplayer aspect in this in this game uh, there will be a single player campaign as i've said in multiple videos before there it's not going to be long it's going to be a short campaign but it is going to be set after return of the jedi it's going to be about the final days of the empire and the rise of the new republic and as we already know it's going to be 5v5 per side so five players maximum per side and it will have ai in there as well so we, it, it won't just be dog fights you know five ships versus five ships but there will be multiple ai in this to make it a larger scale game as well and there will also be monumental fleet battles as well with the campaign you'll be able to switch sides so you just won't be playing just the new republic or just the empire you'll be switching sides as the campaign progresses i think that's what a lot of people have wanted so not just one linear story but it's telling sides from both aspects of the actual war you'll also be able to customize your pilot for each faction so for the new republic and the empire itself and it's probably a good time to talk about pre-orders because there are some pre-order bonuses that have got to do with customization and these options include the new republic recruit and the imperial ace pilot as well they will also include skins for one of each of your ships as well as some decals as well now we don't know how the decals are going to work will they just be on the outside of your ship that's probably what i would be guessing and continue on with customization ea have come out and said that customization will be progressed solely through gameplay so as you progress through the story you'll be able to customize your vehicles your squadrons and your actual customization ships and your pilots as well you'll be able to unlock all through this with the gameplay there will be no microtransactions that we know of so far there are a ton of new characters in the trailer as well guys but that is just a handful of what is going to be in the game They've also come out and said that there is going to be a bunch of cameos. I've already seen a few and I'm sure you guys have as well that I'll put later that I'll go through later on in the video. They've also revealed the name of the squadrons that we will be playing. So the New Republic Squadron is called Vanguard Squadron. And for the Imperials, it is called Titan Squadron. Now let's delve into the multiplayer because I know that's what you guys are waiting for. So there are two modes that we know of so far. One is called Fleet Battles. And this is where you and four of the players in your squadron go and try and take out the enemy capital ship. So this will be like the big mode. This will be like the Galactic Assault version of squadron this will be your big game mode i'm guessing with a lot of ai in there as well and the second mode we know about is called dogfight and this just sounds like a straight up team deathmatch and you basically have to get the most amount of score to win so basically by taking out the enemy ships it's also said that players will be able to customize their squadron to suit their play style and complete their objectives there will also be two new locations that have been confirmed guys so one is the yavin prime which is of course you know, near Yavin 4, obviously, you see it in A New Hope. And there's also the Shattered Moon of Gallatin. The ships that have been confirmed that we can actually fly as of the present are the A-Wing, the X-Wing, the U-Wing, and the Y-Wing, as well as the TIE Fighter, Interceptor, Bomber, and Reaper. 
At the moment, we don't know if there's going to be any more ships going to be added. I was hoping for at least the TIE Defender and the B-Wing. I know a lot of people were as well. And it would make sense to have five ships if there's going to be 5v5. Uh, that's just in my opinion anyway. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section below. And I'll delve a little bit into the trailer now as well, guys, because we do so see some capital ships in there as well, such as Mon Calamari Cruisers, Imperial Star Destroyers, Cup Corellian Corvettes, and our Quintons as well. And in one shot that we do see Hera Sandula from Rebels in, there is also a Starhawk Onager class Star Destroyer for the, for the Rebel Alliance. Um, which you don't know, you probably not have seen so much, it is in the comics though, um, it's an awesome looking ship, hopefully we get to see it actually up close in the game. And speaking of other cameos, we do see Wedge Antilles as well, or what it looks like Wedge uh, in the game as well, so, and obviously like I said, EA has confirmed there will be more cameos in the game as well. Also just quickly going back to cosmetics guys, there will be rarities for cosmetics, there are going to be common, rare, and epic. So, a lot like Battle, Battlefront 2. Last thing I want to say, guys, is that, you know, it is a going to be a cheaper game, and we should probably keep our expectations in check, not expect a bigger game as Battlefront 2, obviously, um, and we don't even know if there's going to be live service for this game once it does launch, so we should all just, you know, just wait, just see what happens at EA Play, and you know they might announce live service after the game, um, after, at EA Play, who knows, hoping, um, We'll just have to keep our, you know, like like I said, just keep our expectations in check, not uh, not get, you know, too overhyped. I'm I'm just taking it as it comes. So as I said, the game will be available on PS4, Xbox One, PC Origin, as well as the Epic Game Store as well. It also have VR for PC and PS4. And one thing that a lot of people are excited about is going to be crossplay across all platforms, which is the first for Star Wars games and hopefully a sign for things to come. The requirements for PC have been given out as well, guys. I'll put it up on the screen to show you. The re minimum requirements are a bit low, so if you guys have not got the greatest, um, you know, laptop or computer system, you should be able to run fine. But of course, when you use VR, it, uh, you know, it does take up a lot more. So my final thoughts, guys, it was a great trailer. We did see a couple of things in the trailer that, you know, uh, I may have overlooked. Let me know if you guys saw anything else in the, in the trailer. I may have thought I've seen Coruscant, is it Coruscant? We don't know yet. It would be cool if it was. Um, maybe we're going to see new places that we've never like heard about before or seen before in a game or any medium, in fact, in the Star Wars Galaxy. And there will be some places that we have seen before, so that'll be nice to see as well. But yeah, my last thoughts, guys. You know, it was a great trailer. Very cool cinematics, you know. Looks like cinematics have come a long way, uh, you know, in the last few years. And it, it does look like a movie. When that Star Destroy came up out of the clouds, that was just a great moment and uh you know and i can't wait for this game to come out i'm honestly probably gonna get vr as well guys so <laughs> just i don't think i can actually stream vr but uh hopefully i can try and make some videos of it it'd be a lot of fun a lot of fun but that is everything we know from this trailer guys if you guys enjoyed the video do let me know in the comment section below let's get a discussion going because i know all of you guys are hyped for this game or you starfighter players um but yeah let me know your thoughts and opinions about this trailer in the comment section below guys like i said there will be gameplay reveal on june 18th June 19th if you're in some countries um, and I will have a video discussing all the stuff that we know and find out from there but uh, thank you guys so very much for watching hope you guys enjoyed the video if you guys did don't forget to leave a like comment share and subscribe if you guys did thank you guys so very much for watching and as always may the force be with you all always